Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. All right, the Spider Farmer sent me an upgraded SC3000, and this is a bar light style. This LED light is made with five different types of LEDs, five different types of Calvin colors. Plus, it has a removable Meanwell driver. It can also be dimmed, and it also can be daisy chained. Coming in at about 300 watts, this light could cover a three feet by three feet growing space. The light is all installed. In the directions, it'll tell you how to install these power lights. And your light strip screws right in there with the arrows. It tells you they got it for each each one here. And this is where your light bars connect to your light light bar here, I guess. Make sure they're nice and tight. If not, they'll kind of short on you. So you want to make sure they're nice and tight. These little light bar are these little light plugins here. And there's where you adjust where it hangs in here. You adjust them here to make your light go this way. And that's why you adjust them there. So if it's way up there, you gotta adjust it. And that's why you kinda need a leveler with this. Turning her on to do the power test. And the volts are 21. You gotta let it sit like this for an hour and warm up. The unit has been warming up for well over an hour now, so I grabbed my infrared thermometer to check the temperature. About 100 to about 110 degrees was where the light was running at. And in the video, I only did the first bar here, but I scanned the other bars and it was the same across all the bars. Now, if that driver was there, the middle bars would probably be a little more warmer because the driver's maximum temperature was 135 degrees. So I'd remove the driver and still put a fan on it. I got my fan installed right there, pointed right on the driver. So let's do a temperature check now. Yeah, I got that thing running real low. So yeah, I would put a fan and remove them outside the tent, if you can, on any of your LED lights. This light has Samsung LM301B diodes. With the five different LEDs, you have enough color spectrum to do clone to harvest. With the 3000 Calvin, which is a white red, and the 5000 Calvin, which is a white blue. To boost the red, they add in a 660 nanometer red LED. For even more red, they add in a 740 nanometer red infrared LED. 410 nanometers of ultraviolet blue are added to increase the PAR spectrum. The unit's been warming up for about an hour, so let's look at our meter and see our volts. Yeah, our volts are still sitting at 120 volts and hasn't really dropped anything. That's pretty good. 2.4 amps. 2.4 amps, that'll save you some energy. Almost 288 watts. Well, that's pretty close to 300 watts to me. With the unit turned all the way down, my watts are almost 41. 0.36 amps, 0.36 amps. 122 volts. As you turn the dimmer up, the volts should go down because you're increasing the load. Let's see if that's true. So now the dimmer's turned all the way up. And yeah, see our volts dropped. And that's the voltage drop I'm talking about. When I say voltage drop is very important, it's very important. And in this model, you, your voltage drop drops down to 120, which is excellent. Definitely with the dimmer turned all the way down, if you were running your light like that, you're saving a lot of money.
with the bar style LED and the 896 smartly placed LEDs. All this helps increase the PAR map and evenly distribute the light across the canopy. I lowered my light to 10 inches like it says on the PAR map. So it's about as close as 10 inches I can get it here. I got a cheap free PAR reader. You know, they, they want you to pay every month for that and you know, I, I, so this setting, this setting is not on the LED, the right setting. So none of these reads really matter, but we're gonna do it for fun anyway. Well, I found a way to read it. I'm just gonna set this other phone on top of this bar here. And there's our set of read, about 1900. Same thing as their par read. I'm pretty sure if I had the spot on par read, it'd come out accurate. So let's, uh, there's our other end there. Our other end, sorry, it's kind of hard. Okay, we're at the edge right here. The edge, and we're at almost 900. You know, if I had a more accurate one, I'm pretty sure I'd get a better read. So let's check the other side. Now we're at the other edge here. And it's pretty much the same. It's distributing pretty easy, almost about 900 there. So I'm gonna raise this thing up and get a more uh, realistic read here for what I'm doing. You need CO2 with all this. I have raised the light 38 inches away from that floor. We're in the dead center and it's reading 740 this is a 2 by 4 tent and I moved it all the way over here and I'm still shooting you know 560 that's pretty good let's recap what's up in our spider farmer manual for the SE 3000 here or just going through but yeah it pretty much tells you you know, start on page one, here's a, a, yeah, it'll go through and tell you some much needed specs here, you know, the ranges of everything, your spectrum, I think it said it had a five-year warranty in here, it's made with the three LMOB1 diodes, or the LM301B diodes, sorry, so that tells you how to install your light here if you if, if what kind of brand if you're getting the different sizes it's got the different sizes in here but you'll get this when you buy it and hopefully i get some discount codes in the descriptions down there for you and then there's how you run your power light how you put the driver on there how you put your driver on there but yeah, these uh, bar lights definitely have a lot to them, you know, and it teaches you how to daisy chain it. You want to run it along, you know, you want to run it lengthwise instead of putting them in the squares right here. You don't want to, you don't want to put squares or mismatch. I guess the polarity of the lights is what they call it because they got that smart spacing. So you want to make sure you're distributing the pars as far as you can that tells you you know the front part of the manual or the front the front part of your uh it's out there and then it lets you know your plant size or uh, your plant if you, you know where where to hang your light at sorry it teaches you where to hang your light at you know teaches you where to hang your light at for you know what kind of plant sizes you're doing if you're doing the veg flower or anything else tell you and all that because you know you don't want to you don't want to hang it too sorry about that you don't want to hang it too low and you're just growing little stuff and over here it looks like start going through your daisy chain what cords how to put it in there of course it looks like they're showing you for the sf 
the SF models, but you know the SEs and all that run pretty much the same. Pretty much it for the SC3000. If you guys like this light, check my descriptions out. Hopefully, I got some discount codes that they they end up giving to me. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for subscribing and thank you everyone. Have a good day.